This week on Archer's Choice. Like I said before, don't ever give up faith or hope because God will reward you and he rewarded us with RJ. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And where we're going, well, we're staying out west. Yeah, we're gonna head to Wyoming. Yes, R and K yes. again. Oh yes. man, R and K Queen Mountain in Wyoming. I mean, I'm telling you, huh? RJ? Oh, it, it never ends. It's like a family out there. It's it, almost like Florida in a way. It is. Where it's just it's we've become a family. With Rob and everybody, yeah. I mean yeah. we just you Rick. just Rick. So we just, all named each all other's of blinds or yeah. blinds. Guys. Well, I named so, yes. yeah. yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, I said Blake. Blake. I, I said thought Blake. I said Blake. No, okay. I'm Anyways, Blake, right, Blake? We headed back out to I Wyoming to spend some time with our family at R and K Hunting in Wyoming at Queen Mountain. The Elker mm -hmm. Buglin. Yes. And yes. I am telling you what, as usual, when we go out there, we are in the dead center of the elk community. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna get exciting. Oh, buddy. So let's get going, shall we? we yes. Shall. We, we shall. got the big we galoot. Shall. The big galoot is with us. Yes. You know the good thing is, is that we have him to carry stuff out too. Yeah. That's why that's why I'm having him lift every day. Oh. This kid's gonna carry moose and everything. <laughs> hey, we're running to R and K, right? Yes. Queens Mountain, Queen Wyoming, Mountain, Wyoming. Elk hunting we're gonna with put our them bows, down. with our hoists. We're gonna put them down. Gonna soon. let some air out of a chest cavity. I hope soon, because it would be awesome. Yes. Good. So this is my second time going for an elk with RNK, and I am beyond excited because every time we come out here, it's, it's such a great time with everyone in camp. I eat very, very well because of Kim and Mr. Doog. It's, it's a great time at RNK with Rob and my parents and everybody that makes it happen, and I can't thank everybody enough for just letting me come out and experience all this because, I mean, I don't think you can go anywhere better. It's awesome. You know, R and K is just a special place. You know, and, and you guys know everybody. You know, you go on hunts, you get to know people. The next thing you know, you know, you, you may maybe you go every few years or whatever. Well, you know, in in our situation, it's a little different because when we find somewhere that's incredible, and that the people there treat everybody the same, we try to go back as much as we possibly can. And we are blessed to, to be able to go back with R and K, you know, on Queen Mountain and see everybody yearly to witness the hunting. It doesn't it doesn't go down, it keeps getting better. I, I mean, and the populations, the management of what they're they're doing there with Rob and Ted and all the guys and everybody. It's an incredible place. Good morning, RJ. Like Good morning. The, uh, Day one, morning off, one. Huh? Breakfast number Dude. one. We are number one. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> well, believe it or not, we're back here in Wyoming at Elk Camp, huh, Rick? I mean, we, we waited a year for this, for him and I to be out in those woods, on those mountains, and just have a blast. And so our first morning out, we're going to see what's going to happen. But, Brother Rick, we're in good hands. Someone needs one. Someone needs Morning one, we're getting ready, we're grabbing our buggies, we're getting down to the business now. Gonna hop in the buggy, go for a bit of a ride, and uh, hopefully shoot down to come back to lunch. Well, once again, we are back here at RK Hunting in Wyoming, Queen Mountain, and we're hunting elk. You know what, last year when we came here, RJ shot his first bull elk. Ever. And of course, it was with his Hoyt. Later in the season, I came back and got mine with my Browning. Well, we're back at it again, and we can't wait to get it going. First morning out, I'm with Rob again, Ralph is with Rick again, and RJ's with Blake. This area was clear cut about 15, 16 years ago. Okay. So there's a lot of roads that's going through there. We've got a lot of new growth that's coming through. This borders up to the edge of a property. Mm -hmm. So we have elk that are in here, residents year round, and then we have other elk that are coming in okay. from 
pulling in from the border side of Utah. So we're going to go ahead and actually sneak along some of these old roads, okay. throw some calls out, see what we can find, and start playing. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's go. The train is any, I mean, if you've ever been to the Rocky Mountain West, uh, it's not so much rolling hills, but it's not an extreme climb as far as actual inclines or anything along those lines. It's quakes, uh, pines, um, some deadfall, of course, uh, but grasses and everything else as far as that. I mean, it's just a beautiful time of year just because the leaves are turning, the elk are talking, and we're out here hunting them. As the first day of the hunt at RNK is just getting started, Ralph, Vicki, and RJ couldn't be more excited to be chasing after Wyoming bull elk in their natural Rocky Mountain habitat. But part of what makes the hunt so rewarding, harvest or not, is the camaraderie in the world-class guides leading the way through the pristine wilderness for a fair chase hunt that puts the R&K Hunting Company at a distinct level all their own. Day one, we hunted section 11. There were some elk in there. We, we did chase some bugles. Normally that's one of my honey holes, but it, it was a little slow. But since we're not hearing any bugles, don't bother. I think they're gonna be up higher, so we're head up higher. Okay. What I really like about guiding here in Wyoming with R&K is uh, this ranch is over 100,000 acres um, of some just awesome property, just full of wildlife. We've got starting down around 8,000 feet, sagebrush, meadows and aspens and going all the way up to 10,000 feet with just black lodgepole pines to hunt. I mean, it's just amazing habitat for elk and deer and antelope. Um, just a game-rich environment. Water's still clear. Gotta love elk hunt at r &K. Queen Mountain Wow. Um, we sat on a, we sat on a couple different wallows, and uh, the trail cameras there showed that elk had been in the area and had been hitting the wallows, but we didn't see a lot, so we we moved from that area. First morning, we get out there, we're getting ready. Instantly, there's bugles all around us. I'm like, yes. So we all got ready. Off we went through the woods, chasing bugles. So this is my third year going to RNK, especially with Blake, my guide. It, no matter what, no matter if we get an animal or don't get an animal, it's always pretty much the best time. We make our way over to where that we think that bull was kind of at, and it's it's like a totally different place. Like every couple hundred yards, the timber changes, and it's it's just unbelievably gorgeous in there that I can't even explain it. Just being in there alone and hearing elk got my heart racing.
We're sitting on the edge of this meadow, in the trees, waiting, 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 hoping that we can get this bull, or even the cows come over us to hopefully attract that bull over. But they don't really like it, so they kind of keep moving on their way away from us. They kind of round the corner into the timber of the meadow, and it's, it's our time to go. So we shoot across the meadow. We can't see any of them at this point. We continue going across kind of the edge of the meadow, Going into the timber, not really knowing where the elk were at, we had to be really careful, just cause, I mean, you never know, especially out there, they can be anywhere and they're incredibly stealthy for how big they are. Blake shoots out a call and game on. We're standing there and my heart is racing beyond measure. And sure enough, we can see a cow and a cat. As this cow and cat are coming in, Blake has me draw back when they can't see us. I'm sitting there drawn back. They're getting closer and closer. I'm freaking out because they're easily within shooting range. I could almost jump at them and grab them. <laughs> I'm standing there and the bull's coming right behind him. And that split second, I freaked out. I shot a little bit off where I wanted to be, but it was still a good shot because with my kill zones, I was hoping that I had a big enough cutting diameter to hopefully do everything I needed to. So in my mind, I'm freaking out because I didn't want to make a bad shot on an elk, especially this beautiful bull elk that just came 15 yards from us. I was beating myself up mentally. Blake was trying to reassure me. Javier was trying to reassure me. We didn't know what was going on, but he had a really, really good and thick blood trail. But just in case, because it was a frontal shot, we took a little bit. I didn't make the best shot, unfortunately. I, I don't even know what happened. I must have pulled and that was totally me, but it looks like we have a pretty good blood trail. Fingers crossed, we're gonna give it about an hour. RJ has just taken a shot at his second ever Wyoming bull elk, but the shot placement has left him uneasy. However, that feeling soon turns to optimism as the crew encounters a thick and consistent blood trail. So in this blood, it looks like it's it's got a lot of air in it, like it's spraying out really hard. And there's a lot coming out. It's lifted the soil up. It's dry. It's pushed up on it. We might get lucky. After tracking the blood for a while, we're still heavy on the trail, but all of a sudden we hear something behind us and there's, there's another bull elk behind us to our left and we all just kind of freeze because we weren't sure what was happening. And this, this smaller bull elk, still a beautiful elk, kind of comes around us. He gets probably within about 20 yards of us and doesn't even see us. Like, no care in the world, just doing his own thing. Walks around us, walks in front of us, goes over the blood trail, kind of stops by it, smells the blood, and then kind of gets a get up on and starts going. It was craziest, craziest little experience I've ever had while blood trailing. <laughs> we continue on the trail, and just a little bit down this blood trail, there's a bull laying there. Come here, come here. Oh. 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 
and I get so excited, I don't know what to do again. I know I get excited, excited a lot, but that's just how it was, because it was the cr one of the craziest hunts I've ever been on. And it was my biggest, my second, but my by far my biggest bull, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> this went a little bit different than expected. Woo! My morning did at least. Oh god. I don't know what to say. I'm I'm, just... I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Well, I got a text. Vicky said that RJ's got a good bull down, and they're already got it. And he is gonna be pumped just as mom and dad are gonna probably be pumped a little bit more. How does a father or a mother embrace? any harder, any more heartfelt, soul felt, when your son or daughter continually are successful. This kid, this big galook, I'm telling you, is he just, he goes out, he makes it happen. And, and I mean, for us to be there and share it and to get a text on the first day of our elk hunt with R&K, Queen Mountain, and I mean, these folks are, it's just, it'll blow your mind if you ever get there. And I, I mean, I can tell you this from the bottom of our hearts, mom, dad, we are so proud and blessed to have a son that respects the outdoors, wants to be a steward of the land and the animals. Everybody around him, they there's an aura about RJ that people sense and they just, they go, man, what a great kid. He ain't a kid no more. He's a big galoop. And I'm telling you, I am so proud to be his to be his dad, to be his father, because to watch him grow up and to understand and love the outdoors like Vicky and I have our whole entire lives. Like I said before, don't ever give up faith or hope because God will reward you and he rewarded us with RJ. So Blake just we just got hold of him. There's enough cell service, just barely enough. And he said they'll be coming out of here soon. So any moment, we should be seeing RJ with his bull elk. I promise you, an elk has more muscle than just his neck alone. Not even my entire body. That is my conclusion of today. Yeah. You know, when he came out of the woods with that big old elk thing up on the top of his head, it just made my heart melt. Look at you! Oh my gosh! Buddy, look at you. Good thing you've been working out, bud. <laughs> oh, congratulations. You, oh my God. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, bud. How was your morning? Huh? How was your morning? Not as good as yours. Look at him. He's oh. wide. Huh? He is wide. wide. Goodness, bud. That. Look at you, the mats on him. This is what it's about. And you know what's even crazier is it was National Hunting Fishing Day. You know, you're supposed to be out there sharing with your friends and family and getting new people involved in it. And what a great thing to happen on that day as we're out there. Here's my little big man. It's so cool. And the natural smile he gets on his face when he saw me and just, it melts my heart. What do you think of this little elk that it's amazing. Never seen anything like amazing. it. Seriously. Beautiful. It's amazing. It's a great bull. Hey, buddy. Come here. <laughs> That's a pretty good bull. Isn't it's it? a great bull. Oh, man. Oh, That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know, he's got a horseshoe put somewhere. Oh yeah. my gosh, and it hey, must be a big one. It made, it made the rest of the week just very, very easy. Yes, yeah. you, sat back, like, what chillaxed. did you do? It was, I ate a lot. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, Miss Kim and Mr. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that was a little. Might have gained a little weight after that one. Yeah, but, oh but I'm telling gosh. you what, again, the thick of it, I mean, this R and K, we, we cannot tell you enough about it. It no. just, it's anything you've ever dreamed of, and, and you have the, the mecca of elk hunting. 
Yes. We so, can't thank you all enough, huh? No, yes. No. Thank you, everyone there at RK. We can't believe it. But we have more for next week. Yes. Yes. So we still have more to We're show you. We're coming back. Yes. We are and coming this, back. And all I'm going to tell you, it's the wildest and craziest hunting story y you'll ever witness. <laughs> and I'll still be all in right. camp eating. Hey, we want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.